my friends, Ryder here. All right, so as you guys can see, I have gotten Sylvie 115. Um, I have also gotten and maxed her card, A Party for All, which gives Man Eater upon magic attack up 30, area attack resistance up 16, critical hit rate up 25, also gives bestowed magic up 10%, missile attack resist up 10, healing power up 10, and hate down 3 to, I just believe, Sylvie. Yeah. Um, so pretty interesting uh, card. Spirit plus 5 is nice. I believe that this is for guns, swords, and I can't remember the last one. Uh, but basically it affects everyone in this party. I've kind of gone back and forth between like running Bahamut in the first slot. Uh, essentially, like I think that Sylvie is going to be kind of like a sleeper crusher. Uh, but I think that she's still missing a piece of her puzzle. Um, and I think what that is, is a very strong light bruiser, which I think that we will get in the future. And so I do think that Sylvie completely replaces Yuna, essentially. Um, the two uh, kind of boons that Yuna has over her is that her re-raise can go on anyone. Um, although Sylvie's is essentially better because it casts Shell on herself at the same time. Um, and then the other one is that Yuna has, uh, unabatable pain. So she, Yuna has a guaranteed hit, Sylvie does not. But other than that, uh, Sylvie's gonna, you know, tank damage a lot better and also be able to dish out damage a lot better. Um, I think with this composition, uh, it's, it's very interesting. I really do think that her, like, true ultimate form is gonna be, like, a Blade Soul sub job. Uh, but you'll need a really strong light bruiser. Uh, that doesn't need like constant a lot of uh, buffs and healing in order to stay up like Lucio kind of fits the bill except that he's Lucio so I need to run Sylvie on white mage in order to have Lucio sustained but then he has light attack and perils he does really good damage especially if you get off bells so you guys will see um, when we go in and do some battles here um, before I forget, I'm going to go into battle settings. I'm going to turn on the ability effects. All right, so let's go into her kit a little bit. She's sitting here at 115 at 8.4k HP. She's got 95 agility, 330 dexterity, 415 luck. She's got almost 1600 magic, 38 defense, 38 spirit. I have her bravery and faith both at 97. Her back end resistance is not bad. 2% slash, 15 pierce, 10% strike, 30 missile, and 30 magic resistance. Um, so pretty good across the board. Um, I am running her with Blade Soul Lore, and I'm also running her with Marion's Blessing right here. Um, I could be running her Mind Body Unity, uh, but I think that this is going to be okay as it is. This is kind of a very interesting counter, which I've yet to actually see go off. Um, she's normally pretty far away. I am running her with Protect and Shell on, uh, partially because she tends to stay really far back. Like, her AI is good for a healer, but then sometimes she gets too far away from the team. Uh, so by running her with at least one of these on, she kind of runs with them a little bit, which works pretty good. Plus, like, having Protect, Shell, Defense, and Spirit buff go off from her is pretty solid. Um... So, yeah, I am liking her a lot so far. I think that she's definitely going to be, like, a more niche character and going to take some, like, fine uh, tuning in order to fully, um, like, open her up. But it is interesting that in her ability board, by the way, she does have full life, which is awesome. Uh, the final node that can be leveled up up here is AP, right? She also has, like... You know, her limit break gives her AP regen small. So that's why I'm, and like her card has critical hit rate up 25, which leans in towards her blade soul sub job. Um, I just think that you really need like a really strong light bruiser um, or like a neo light tank that's also a good damage dealer. Like Engelbert would probably be really good as well. Um, to quickly go into the other builds, this is Lucio. He's sitting at 9.2 KHP. He's got 88 agility, 400 dex, 450 luck, 1600 attack, 54 defense, 7 spirit, uh, 40 slash, 10 pierce, 30 strike, 10 magic, and negative 5 to missile. 
His elemental resistances are all pretty good as well. So he's definitely more of a physical tank. Um, so we'll just have to see how that goes. He is looking pretty fun. Lastly, we have Elena. I am still running her full evasion. So as you can see from, uh, she's at 144 evade. Uh, the team is kind of built around, you know, I mean, this is kind of, this is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to choose Lucio instead of running all magic characters like Jaden would be a fun choice I think but then you're gonna have to drop off Elena's like true evade build um, unless you just put the VC on there um, which I guess you could do uh, but I do think that it's crucial at this point in time for Elena to still be max evade uh, so lastly to go into Elena she's got 7k HP 109 agility 400 dex 460 luck uh, 1400 magic, 6 defense, 13 spirit, back end resistances, all pretty good. 0 to slash, 17 pierce, 15 strike, 17 missile, and 20 to magic. So looking pretty good. And then, like I said here, she's got 144 evades. So she's looking pretty solid. So I'm going to take them into some battles and basically just show how this team works. I'm not too high in the rankings right now. Um, I don't really have, I don't have Ural, I don't have her card, I don't have Alaya, so I don't really have anything that's too much in the bonus range, but we will try to fight some teams. This looks like an interesting team, actually. Okay, so let's go for this team. This team is actually going to be pretty strong. Um, so I fought a good friend of mine yesterday in my guild, Dremts, and he's like, uh, one of the best dark players I know. And I was able to beat his team with Sylvie at 115 with 50 Faith and 50 Bravery three times in a row last night. He was running Dark Fina, uh, Little Leela, and Helena, I believe. And so I really do think that like a lot of people think that Light is dead. I don't think that that was ever the case. I think that there's just soup. You have to use very particular formations right now, and it's still very strong. I mean, like, if you're in Guild War, you're still seeing light comps basically everywhere. So they really only need just a little bit of a buff. Um, and so I think that with the rise of Dark, which is essentially imminent at the moment, especially with the new uh, Dark Warrior of the Crystal Unit, I do think that light is due for a heavy time bruiser. And I think that Sylvie has absolutely no evade in her kit whatsoever. And that might be leading me to believe that. Okay, so there you go. Lucio holding up pretty good right now. So this is a pretty good win team. It has Sedali, it has Win Glacy. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. As you can see, Sylvie is keeping up with Lucio because she is keeping those buffs on him. And he also has the defense spirit buff as well. So he's going to be pretty tanky. And he's going to get the unit attack resistance buff up there. I did turn off that AoE um, uh, dark attack resistance slash attack resistance buff off because he'll double cast it. Okay, so surviving the hit from Glacy right there. Here comes Elena. So Dolly's going to come in. He's going to go for the heal. Now Sylvie's going to come in with the limit break. And I believe both Lucio and Elena are going to get that one time barrier. Just Lucio. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, she did get the courage remove off on Elena though, but that evade is definitely holding up. Ooh, there goes Glacy with the reflex. So it's looking good so far over here. We'll see what Sidali does. Okay, so he's gonna go for the charm move on Lucio. And Lucio is definitely weaker to magic, but as you can see, he just took Sidali's limit break and it did 1800 damage to him, even though he is weak to magic. So Lucio is an 80 cost free unit that is holding up against 200 cost units right now. Like, really, Sylvie draws out his true potential. Um, so let's see what she does right here. Here comes the clever paladin strike, and Glacy is down. All right, so that's the first battle so far. And hopefully we'll get some other fun ones here, even though our ranking is a little bit high. Today is just like to kind of overview the team. Okay, so it was just the new day turned over. I cut that part out. So we are going to have five more fights now instead of four. So hopefully that'll work out in our favor. Here is a uh, That is not the team we're going to go for. That's not the team we're going to go for either. Let's keep looking for some. I think we just fought this guild. 
Okay, I want to fight stronger teams. I don't think we're going to be doing good against Evade. Here's a light team with Jaden. Um, let's go for this. Rank 172. This is, uh, I mean, I think this player, if they pull for Sylvie, will definitely be replacing Yuna. Um, but let's see how this goes, because I was curious about this team uh, with Sylvie. The thing is, is that, like, Sylvie has hate down in her kit. If you run Elena Evade, then they're not going to target Elena, which means they're going to target Jaden. Jaden's not going to be able to tank hits like Lucio. And so probably Jaden's going to go down really quick. Um, but I do think that it'll be a fun team. It's just going to be tricky to get it to work right. All right, so we'll see how this goes. There goes the defense spirit buff on Lucio. He's going to run forward with Revitalize. I still think that Lucio is one of the cooler looking characters in the game. His armor's rad, his cloak is rad, his sword is rad. So, I definitely enjoy getting to use him. Okay, so nice hit by Jaden right there. Definitely seeing a little bit of the magic weakness on Lucio. Okay, so here comes the Curata. Lucio's looking good. He's going to go after Jaden right here. And going in with Luminous Grace. Pretty sick limit break, not going to lie. And Jaden is down. Elena's going to use the evasion buff. And now it is on. Light versus light. Here is going to be the protect on Lucio. He's probably going to get his unit attack up resistance buff right now. Ooh, there's that, there's that Yuna. So there's where Yuna has a little bit of an edge. She does have guaranteed hit. Um, so I do wish that Sylvie had guaranteed hit in her kit, uh, but it is what it is. Okay, Elena is on courage. She's gonna come in. And if you don't run Elena true, like 140 of eight plus, uh, it does not work as well. So I know that I thought about it. I dropped Shiva for a while from the VC sub slot and it just, it's not enough. Like I said, like Sylvie, I think is going to get kind of slept on by people because as of right now, light is really just kind of not quite ready for her. Um, but I think that once light gets that last piece, uh, there's really going to be some cool comps uh, to be built. All right, so looking good so far, up to a 17 win streak. Let's hopefully find some more meta teams. Let's see. Smeckington. Here's a Violet team. Um, let's see what else we got here. Scumbag Steve. All right, let's go after Scumbag Steve. He's running Mono Lightning. Uh, Lightning, Orlando, and Esther. Okay, we're going to go for this. So we took out the win team. I think that was more instead of June. So that definitely was, was a big difference, but still a strong team. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely curious. I think that Sylvie will probably get by... By 120, she'll probably be somewhere around 9.5k HP. And I think that Light still is in need of like a newer version of Solidus, like a HP card. Uh, so when those things come out, I think that it's definitely going to be pretty strong. So I am happy that I pulled for Sylvie. I think she'll be very, very good for a very long period of time. Um, and definitely be fun to play with the Blade Soul options in her sub job. Okay, so Lucio taking, tanking a really good hit from Esther right there. Alright, here we go. Now he's going to get Protect. And he's going to go after Esther. Doesn't quite get her. Orlando is going to buff in the back. And here comes Elena. Esther did not have Courage, so she is down. Now Lucio is going to get the Shell. And like, as you can see, I'm not really worried about her buffing Elena. Like, Elena is basically her own entity in these fights. Um, you know, she's just, I just want Sylvie and Lucio to stay together, to focus on each other. 
and Lucio has Taunting Blade if he uses it. I mean, like, most of the time, no one wants to target Elena anyway because they can't. And so he gets, like, natural hate because Sylvie, as you can see, she does a good job of staying away. And that was a hit from Lightning right there that basically <laughs> did nothing. Like, she tanked it better than uh, Lucio did. So she's definitely a step up from Yuna in that regard, which is awesome, having a healer that's not, like, a like, super, super made of glass, you know? All right, so looking pretty good so far. Slowly making our way up in the rankings. I will definitely uh, be climbing up into the ranks uh, once she switches over to the unit bonus, and hopefully by then I'll be able to 120 her. I am about 90 shards away at the moment. Okay, so here's a full mono dark team. Let's look around a little bit more. Maybe we'll find something else. Mm, not quite the ice team I'm looking for. Let's see what else we got. There's fire. Okay, here's an interesting one. Uh, Agrius Snow Alaya. Not quite uh, ice meta, but still will be a pretty good um, test. I mean, Snow's very strong. Agrius is good, and Alaya is really good. Uh, both Sylvie and Alaya are at 115, so it's a pretty fair test run. So we'll just have to see how this goes right here. But to be honest, I have been doing really well. In class match, I beat uh, Velis Snow Eliza. I beat a Eliza Elia uh, Snow team um, with Sylvie at 115, and her bravery and faith were only 50 each. So, like, I mean, she definitely, like, it looks like she doesn't bring much. But I think what it is, is that light really just didn't need that much of a boost. Like, it's always been strong. And so, I really think that she brings that extra edge. And it's only going to get better from here. Like, this limit break is just absolutely phenomenal. Like, the full heal and the barrier, and the AP restore on herself. Like, I don't think we've lost a character so far. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's looking pretty freaking good so far. And like, to be honest, I always turn off Protect and Shell. Or like, almost all the time I turn them off in White Mage. Uh, but it actually, like, it, it kind of fixes her AI to use it. And when she's on Blade Soul, she does come out a little bit more. Um, but Lucio kind of needs a little bit more of the tankiness. Uh, because, you know, you can't build him as evenly as some other tanks. He's, like, more of, like, a light bruiser at 80 cost, you know. But I'm definitely having fun. I didn't try switching Lucio with Engelbert. I'm almost positive that that composition will work. Um, okay, so here's another one. Ah, double 115s. That is a shame. Army of God, rank 174. This looks like an interesting team. So this was Wind and Ice. So let's go for this. Sedali, Glacy, and Snow. And then I think we'll have one more fight after this, and that will do it for the 115 showcase. And then after that, I'll just be working on her over the days. And then when I get her 120... Hopefully we'll be able to get some good fights in with the new unit bonuses and down in the high, high, high ranks, you know? Alright, so here we go. Looking pretty good so far. I mean, honestly, pretty freaking stoked to be able to bring back Lucio. I feel like I've done it a few times, brought back Lucio. Um, ooh, that triple cross. She has good accuracy. Okay, so this should be interesting because Elena has basically been like exempt from the battles so far that we've done. Um, they're also looking pretty tanky right here. We'll see how this goes. Sylvie's going to get off the limit break right now. I'm loving that one hit barrier. It's awesome because it basically makes all these characters not one shots after they get healed. Glacy goes down, Snow is on Courage, there's the re-raise, Snow's gonna use... Okay, so he didn't use his guaranteed hit. 
All right, Elaine is evade coming out to play. Snow is going to go down. We'll see what Sidali here. sidali has been held back and forced into a healing position, which is not ideal for him, I would say. So he'll be going for the heal on Lucio. He's going to get up to full. He's going in. Glacy is almost down, not quite there. Um, Lucio's still hanging on. I mean, like, Glacy is one of the higher damage characters in the game, and he is surviving her, so... It is looking pretty good. Here comes another heal from Sylvie. Lucio is going to be almost full health. Sadali comes in. Lucio survives. And Sadali goes down. So I still don't think that we've actually lost a single character um, in any of the fights, which is pr pretty awesome. I was not sure when I first saw her kit. It kind of looks a little bit underwhelming at first. I've been saying that her kit's a bust and... It's a total pass, but my intuition is that she is much, much, much stronger than meets the eye, and I think it's just going to take some time to really see that. So we got one fight left. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this looks like a fun team. Alaya, not quite 115, though. What else we got? Ooh. Okay, let's go for this. Last fight of the day. So here we have Joker, Fina, Dark Leela. Okay, so like very, very, very strong dark team. Uh, so this is going to be a good test. I mean, we're going in with a disadvantage, um, but I feel like we'll see how it goes. I mean, Joker has really high accuracy and guaranteed hit in his limit break. Leela has high accuracy, so Elena is going to definitely be struggling. Uh, if Elena is paired with Dark Fina, it might go a little bit better. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Alright, so I'm pretty curious, actually. Okay, so Fina's running out. She's going to go for her re-raise. There, there goes Lucio. With bells, here comes Elena. There goes the drain evocation. Joker's gonna run out and use Swift Strike. It does not hit, so he did not go for the limit break. Here comes Leela. Bam! With the high accurate, high accuracy hit right there. Elena is immediately put on courage. Okay, so we're on the ropes. Here comes Sylvie from the back, getting the limit break and the barrier. Elena's gonna dodge right there. That looks good. Okay, Fina's going to go down. She's going to have the re-raise. Elena is going to finish her off with her own limit break. We'll see what Leela does right here. So it's definitely a fight. We were on the ropes. We are coming back. Leela did not have courage. Everything is on Joker right now. But he does not have the AP. He did not have bells. The team, I think, was not quite built to the to perfection, I guess. And it looks like it's not going to pay off for them in the end. So there you go. Super, super, super strong dark team. Literally, we didn't lose a single character. And yeah, so in my opinion, Sylvie's looking really good. Um, I'm really hoping that that true light bruiser that comes to the game is going to be Zack. I feel like with Crisis Core Remaster coming out, maybe they'll do a secret collab for Christmas. That would be freaking awesome. If they brought in Genesis and Zack, I mean, I don't think they would do Angeal and Zack. They're like basically the same character. So I think like, could you imagine this? Sylvie, Zack, and Elena, like it would just be freaking awesome. But I do think that Light is gonna move away from Evade. Fire is gonna take over Evade, um, which is kind of like getting your older siblings toys passed down <laughs> to you for fire <laughs> but hope hopefully you uh yuffie with her sure hit uh kind of remove buff will come in clutch but yeah i just wanted to show you guys this video that i'm definitely having fun with this unit and yeah i'm gonna be experimenting more with her over the days and i'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as i get her 120. Just want to thank everyone for liking these videos. I really appreciate you guys and for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I, it's crazy. It blows my mind that I'm like nine subscribers away from 700. That's just like insane. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. I'm glad you like these videos. I like to make them and it's been real fun. 
With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.